It's not easy for a television personality to become a cultural memory, especially in a show packed with explosions, experiments, and unforgettable characters. Yet somehow, Carrie Byron did it. With her fiery red hair, fearless energy, and contagious curiosity, she didn't just help bust myths, she inspired an entire generation to fall in love with science. But after rising to fame on Mythbusters, many fans have wondered, what happened to Carrie Byron and where is she now? Before she became a household name, Carrie Byron was born in 1974 in California and grew up fascinated by art, experimentation, and the world around her. Today, at 50 years old, she is known not only as an artist and TV host, but also as a symbol of women thriving in STEM. Her family life has always remained grounded. She was married for many years to Paul Urick, and the pair share a daughter who has been the quiet center of Kari's world. Even as her public career grew, Carrie always protected her family's privacy, ensuring her daughter had a life outside the spotlight. Carrie's journey to Mythbusters wasn't something she ever planned. In 2003, while still an art student interning at Jamie Heinemann's M5 Industries, she volunteered to model for a hilarious early myths test involving an airplane toilet. That single moment changed everything. When Discovery Channel pushed for a bigger team, producers remembered Carrie's spark and invited her to join the newly formed Build Team. Alongside Tori Balesi and Grant Imahara, Carrie became a crucial part of the show's heart and humor. For more than a decade, from 2003 to 2014, Kari's creativity, engineering instincts, and willingness to dive headfirst into experiments helped define the show. She broke stereotypes, showing millions of young girls that science wasn't just exciting, it was accessible. The build team handled everything from cheesy myths to extreme physics, bringing laughter, chaos, and intelligence to every episode. When Carrie and the build team departed in 2014, fans were devastated. But her career didn't slow down for a second. In 2015, she returned to TV with Tori Belletti for Thrill Factor on the Travel Channel, exploring the science behind roller coasters, adrenaline, and fear, essentially taking the mythbuster spirit of experimentation on the road. Just a year later, Netflix recruited Kari, Tori, and Grant for the White Rabbit Project, a Mythbusters-style series exploring jailbreaks, superpowers, scams, and historical mysteries. Although the show lasted only one season, it allowed fans to see the trio reunited and doing what they did best. Then, Carrie took a creative leap of her own. In 2018, she published Crash Test Girl, a memoir revealing her journey from struggling artist to science communicator. She explored mental health, personal challenges, and how the scientific method helped her navigate life's toughest moments. It was raw, empowering, and unmistakably Carrie. In 2021, she returned once again to the screen, this time leading Crash Test World for the Science Channel. The series focused on global innovation and human connection, taking Carrie around the world to explore how technology and culture shape everyday life. The show's emphasis on unity and solutions resonated deeply with her, especially in a time when the world was desperate for hope. After the pandemic, Carrie channeled her love of education into something even bigger. She co-founded Explore Media, an educational streaming platform designed to bring STEM and social learning into homes and classrooms. Inspired by how teachers once used Mythbusters clips in their lessons, Carrie helped create a modern space where science becomes entertainment and learning becomes an adventure. And today, she's still innovating. In 2025, Carrie and Tori Balesi launched the MythFits podcast, a nostalgic, funny, and deeply educational series that dives into science, technology, and the wildest myths the internet has to offer. They bring on experts, discuss behind-the-scenes moments from Mythbusters, and pay emotional tribute to the late Grant Imahara, their beloved teammate and friend. So what happened to Carrie Byron? She never stopped exploring, never stopped learning, and never stopped inspiring future generations to think critically, get curious, and take risks. If you grew up watching Kari on Mythbusters, what's your favorite build team moment? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into your favorite TV legends.